How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about these Hyfax runner kits for your ice fishing sled. I'm going to start by going through some of the benefits on why you may want to use them on your ice fishing sleds. And then I'm going to give you some quick tips and tricks to get the install done easily and quickly. Let's get started. All right, so what are the benefits of having Hyfax on your sled? First, it protects the bottom of your sled and extends the life of the sled itself. As the Hyfax will wear before the sled and can be replaced if necessary while still using your original sled. Ultimately, saving you money because sleds cost a lot more than a Hyfax kit. The second benefit is due to the way that the Hyfax adds depth to the grooves on the bottom of the sled is it actually improves the tracking behind a tow vehicle like an ATV or a snowmobile to have it track in a straight line. And third, depending on who you talk to, it may reduce the amount of resistance when you're pulling the sled and make it easier to pull due to the fact that the Hyfax has a lower coefficient of friction. However, I will say Hyfax is not a replacement for a Smitty sled and I would check out some of the other videos on my channel if you're interested in knowing what a Smitty sled is and how to build one as well. Where can you buy Hyfax? In the description of this video, I link to a few places where you can buy the specialty kits that are made specific for each manufacturer, like Clam and Otter Outdoors, that are cut to the right length, have the holes pre-drilled, and come with the hardware needed to do the install. Here's a few tips to keep in mind while you're going through the process. First, it's easiest to install Hyfax on a sled that hasn't been built into a shack yet or had any modifications done to it. When you have just the tub itself, it's a lot easier to move around, flip over, and access the screws and the nuts on either side. Second, if you can, try to do the install in the summer months or in a heated garage or a heated environment where the Hyfax has had time to warm up and is more flexible. You can use a hairdryer or a heat gun for a short period of time. You don't want to overheat the Hyfax when you're bending it over the slope on the front of the sled. And third, you want to use a drill bit that's smaller than the screw itself so that way when you're putting them in, they actually grip and hold on to the plastic so that way they're not falling in and out as you're flipping the sled back and forth. All right, tools you're going to need for the install. A drill with the drill bit. I used a 764 inch drill bit for my Otter kit. A driver with an Allen bit or an Allen wrench, I use size 1 8 inch, a nut driver or a socket connected to a driver or a ratchet, I use size 3 8 inch, and a hammer. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is grab your Hyfax. If you buy one of the kits, they usually come with the hardware in it, so all the guesswork is done for you. Next, what you want to do is tilt your sled up against the wall, so that way the grooves where you can put, if your sled has them, the Hyfax pieces directly into, the grooves are at the top. It's going to be easiest if you can jam it in there. So once you have your first Hyfax piece, it doesn't matter where you start. You're going to want to jam it into the groove at the very top. So make sure it's as far up as you can get it into that groove. Put the, the top corner angle of the Hyfax in to get it in there a little bit. And then what I do is I use a hammer and I pound it in while applying upward pressure on it to make sure that it's seated towards the top. Now that you've got this first piece started, you're going to want to take your drill with drill bit and you're going to want to drill directly through to the other side so that the screw has something to bite onto as you screw it in. Next, you're going to want to take your screw with small washer on it and put it into the hole that you just drilled. I'm going to use an actual screwdriver to put these in on a very light setting. You don't want to torque them down because it's just biting into plastic right now, but you can do this with an Allen wrench as well if you prefer. Now that we got this first one in, I'm going to leave this one here and I'm going to work on getting the rest in with this first screw as well. We're now going to turn it over still leaning against the wall and we're going to tighten down the nuts on the other side of these so that way they don't pull out as we apply the rest of it with screws and drilling. So the first thing that you may notice is there's some plastic that is around the screw threads. What you want to do is pull some of that plastic off so that way your washer and nut can seat all of the way. So I'm just going to take a little razor blade and cut off that little piece of plastic. Now I'm going to take my bigger washer I'm going to place it over the screw and I'm going to take my nylon hex locking nut and put it over the top. I'm going to use my socket, put it over the nut and tighten it down. And now I'm going to do that with all the rest of these first screws. 
Now that we've completed the first row, we're going to go ahead and flip it back around. So we'll go ahead and bend this down. Try to make sure that you keep the Hyfax runner in the center of the plastic groove on the tub. If you're doing this in cold weather, this is where a heat gun will help. It's currently 80 degrees where I'm working, so a little bit warm. The nice thing about doing this in the summertime is you don't need to apply any heat and they're relatively flexible as is. Now we'll pop our screw in and we'll just keep going all the way down. We'll complete this whole side now. Now that we have those screws into all of the runners, we're gonna go ahead and flip the sled over and finish it off with the nuts. And just like that, we're done. Thanks for checking out the video today. If this video helped you out at all, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more content surrounding the sport of ice fishing, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.